How's it going today YouTube and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. So I was thinking the other night, I wonder which locking nut is the strongest. You know, you've got your nylon locking nut, you got, you got your uh, cone lock or stover nut, and I wonder how they would compare to just a regular nut with some blue thread locker. So I figure I'd do, I would put a nut on each one of these bolts. Both of them are brand new. And I would tighten them down until their locking mechanisms are two, three threads down. Make sure it's fully locked. And with the Loctite, what I'll do, I'll put it in a vise, put a washer on it, put the Loctite on, spin the nut down, and with it in the vise, I would tighten it just a little bit because for thread locker to cure up properly you got to have a little bit of a load on the fastener then I'd let it sit for 24 hours and then I would take my digital torque wrench and see how much torque it would take to turn each of these fasteners in an additional 180 degrees and I hope by doing that it'll say which of these three has the strongest holding power let's get to the vise and get going here we go so first we'll take our nylon locking nut cinch it down on the vise like I said we'll turn it until we get a few threads sticking out from the locking mechanism Okay, got a few threads there. Now the cone lock or stover nut. Cinch that down. And tighten it down the same way. Two or three threads there and now our regular nut with the washer put that in the vise now when we put our lock thread locker on we can run the nut down tighten it up a little bit and that puts the load on the thread locker so it'll uh, set right and we'll let it sit in the vise for 24 hours Oh, but a healthy, healthy dose of thread locker on there. Let's uh, lower it down so it's the same as the other two. Like I said, let it sit like that for 24 hours. That way the thread locker is fully cured. And we'll try to turn them another 180 degrees and see what kind of torque results we get. See you in 24 hours. Okay, so the thread locker is set up for a good 24 hours and it's been a nice warm couple days. So you know the temperature's up there. So we're gonna take it out of the vise. Drop the washer down and put it back in a vise. I'm going to take my digital torque wrench. I'll turn it on and I'll set it for 40 foot pounds. On a nice, even sweeping motion, I'm going to torque it another 180 degrees and see what the readings say. I'll duplicate the same. For the nylock nut and the cone or stover nut. Well, let's see which one's stronger. What do you guys think? I'm doing this right along with you, so your guess is as good as mine. Let's find out. Okay, so the blue thread locker. Do a 
full 180 degrees. Sixteen foot pounds. To tell you the truth, it's a little bit more than I thought. So, about sixteen foot pounds. And let's do the nylock nut next. Exact, exact same thing. Tighten it in the vise, and a full hundred eighty degrees. Seven point one foot pounds. Not too bad. Last but not least, the cone or the silver nut. Same thing, tightener in a vise. And 180 degrees. Here we go. Twelve point seven foot pounds. Well, to be totally honest with you, the blue thread locker surprised me. I thought for sure the cone or silver nut would have been the highest rated, but the blue thread locker did it, and the nylock nut also did a pretty good job. Just over seven foot pounds to do a full one eighty degrees. Just to clarify, all the nuts and bolts were all brand new, threads were all in good shape, no damage there. So we got a good reading and we used a good dependable torque wrench with my uh, snap-on tech angle 3 8 torque wrench. Well, what everybody think? Leave a comment in the comment section. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and notification bell in the bottom right hand corner. That way you get notified when we get new videos coming out. Well, that's it for tonight everybody. Have a good night and keep wrenching.